I'm Chip Hardy at Brookdale Farm in Hollis, New Hampshire. I'm a part of a family farming operation. We have about 200 acres of apples and small fruit and peaches. And we have about 160, 180 acres of vegetables, particularly about 110 acres of sweet corn. Of the sweet corn that we grow, we grow par primarily for the wholesale market. And we only sell about 5% of that at our own roadside stand. We're at a location now where we have about 80 acres of sweet corn, and we have about four or five different soil types in this 80 acre track. So each field is broken up into a 10 acre parcel, and we soil test each one of those 10 acres because there's a big variation. So by doing a soil test on each block, we can efficiently apply the amount of phosphorus and potassium to each 10 acre parcel because they vary so immensely, it really allows me to save some fertilizer cost by only applying what is needed for each block. The way that we get this information for these 10 acre parcels is we use two companies. They use global satellite positioning and take a soil sample on each 10 acre parcel within the same foot every year. After they do the soil testing, they present us with a soils map of each field, which analyzes and shows me what the nutrient value is and what needs to be applied for sweet corn production, how much phosphorus and potassium would be needed for maximum production. Nutrient management is very important in raising sweet corn. Soil testing for general phosphorus and potassium is very important. In the past, we didn't test as accurately for these two nutrients as we do today. We used to fertilize the fields all generally with one rate, but by using this new technology, we get better production than we used to using less fertilizer. Well, this is our mixing and loading spray facility. We built this for a water quality safety issue. We keep all our chemicals right here in this facility, and we do all our mixing and loading of all our weed sprayers and, and orchard and vegetable sprayers right here in this facility. It's on a 2% pitch, and if you ever had a leak or spilt any spray material, it's all recycled and recaught into another container so that you can never pollute any groundwater. It all stays right in this spot. And the other beauty about having all the chemicals in one location, it really speeds up your mixing and loading operation. You don't have to go looking for chemicals in one barn or another. And having everything right here in one location under lock and key, it's much safer and a much more efficient system. We have the water right here. It's all gravity fed, so it doesn't take very long to fill the sprayer. The beauty of this facility is the fact that we can do all our pesticide mixing and loading right here and there's no chance that we can have any spill. Everything is completely contained. If we even spill a few gallons, it's all contained, pumped back up and pumped right back into the sprayer. So there's no way that we can ever pollute any groundwater 